Hello, everyone. Yes, yes, indeed, it's true. It is time for Merle's Pearls of Business Wisdom, and I welcome you to Merle's Pearls of Business Wisdom because I am Merle with the pearls, only I'm not wearing them today. But my pearls are pearls of wisdom. I'm the Relationship Miracle Worker. You can find me there. You can check my podcast at Merle, relationshipmiracleworker.com slash podcast. Plus, any place you get your podcast, there's always that. Uh, and uh, I like to discuss those things about relationships, your relationships, how you deal with relationships, and how they can impact your business life, your work life, whether whether you're whether you're in a job, whether you're in a career, or whether you're in a business. How about that? In any case, what do you do to expand your business? What do you do to learn more things about your business? So I'm talking about networking whether you're networking, whoever you're talking with, you're networking with. But, but really, if, you're, if you are serious about the job that you do, uh, then, then you look for opportunities to talk to other people. You look to, really, you look for opportunities to talk to other clients. But hey, I'm going to suggest to you that that's not the only person, people, that you should be uh, looking to network with. Uh, and in fact, network, <laughs> when you notice, when you, when you go to networking uh, live, if you're back to doing live stuff, and or even on Zoom, but particularly live, you'll notice everybody is pushing, uh, wants you to be their client. Everybody wants you to be your client. Well, Everybody in the world can't be your client. It's, you know, you probably actually wouldn't want everybody in the world as your client. So, or as your, as your boss or whatever your, whether it's a job, a career, or, or, or a business. And so why not look at the people you talk to in in a little broader way of things so that uh, uh maybe maybe this person will be a client maybe this person will know a client maybe this person will be a mentor maybe this person has some information to give to you maybe this person will be a partner maybe this person will be a uh, i can't think of the word um you'll do a, a a project with and maybe this person is a person that you have the perfect client for or maybe this person would is would really like to know th your guy next door because he's the president of something or other who knows what way that you can be helpful to somebody else and if you think in terms of your your conversation your networking not just i mean i've said to you before be very focused uh, think about why you're talking to this person but think about why you're talking to this person not just for what he she can do for you but what you can do for them and you know, I, I think sometimes we don't think that way because we don't think, oh, well, I, you know, I'm just getting started. I'm not, I don't know that much. I'm not that good. Well, how could I help somebody else? I can barely help myself. So stop that. <laughs> 
like that. There you go. Stop that. Don't, don't think like that. Don't talk like that. Don't feel like that. You have value as who you are, and you are a success. You may be a success in, 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 on step one, or you may be a success on step 10. But what's the difference? What step you're on, you're still on the success ladder. And if you understand that, and when you become a billionaire, you're not going to be a different person from who you are now. You're going to know different things. You're going to know more things, which is going to give you more opportunity to help other people. But you already know things that can help, and not just for money, but just for fun, just because, because it's you want to give what you want to get. I mean, they talk about what is it, treat other people like uh, you would want to be treated. I'm not always sure that's exactly true. Treat other people the way they want to be treated is probably really more on point. But it starts from this concept of I'm not good enough and switching it over, changing it. What we say feeding the good wolf. Talk, think about what it is you have and maybe maybe part of the preparation you do when you go to a networking company uh, a gathering whatever is not just to prepare well who who do i want who what is it i would like to get you know uh i'd like somebody that knows about this or somebody that knows this person or or whatever think about what what do i have that I can offer, that somebody else might find a value. If you think in terms of the back and forth, the front and back, uh, first of all, it gives you more courage to ask when it's something for yourself, and it makes you feel really awesome when you have something, uh, something to give. And don't, and, I notice some people say, yeah, yeah, all I do is give, give, give. Yeah, if that's the case, good. It's not, don't stop giving. Maybe you need to start asking more. But don't stop giving. Because that's that's the yin and the yang. That's uh, what, what, uh, Uh, that's, uh, I, you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of pickleball or tennis or whatever. It's the back and forth. It's you give a little, you get a little. You give a little, you get a little. Sometimes you miss the ball. Sometimes they miss the ball. But that's not anything to be angry at. It's not anything to blame yourself or anybody else for. You're out there trying to hit the ball. And when it comes to networking and when it comes to communication, hitting the ball is uh, sharing what you, who you are and what you know and listening. Oh my goodness, it more than half of what you're, when you're communicating, listen, hear. So there are a lot of people in the world don't, that, look like they don't know nothing, that they don't know anybody, and um, you'd be wrong. You'd be wrong. So just listen to what other people have to say. Yes, you can say, oh, this is BS, and this is, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's terrific. Oh, Maybe you could help me with that. It's, if you can relax, if, if, if it doesn't have to be perfect, if you don't have to make a, uh, a sale in terms of some kind of referral every time you talk to somebody, 
if you can take the time to get to know them. So this time you just chat and next time you see them, you, you pay attention. And remember, remember when we talked about this, how is that going? And so you create a relationship and the relationship I, the thing that you give, I guess, the first thing that you give is your attention and your interest. And if you give that, most often, not always, most often, you will get that back. And that's the beginning of a relationship that may may result in some kind of a transaction. They will help you, you will help them, both. And if, if it's not something that has to happen, if it's something that you can be chill with, if it's something that you can be open-hearted with and, and not feeling uh, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I need this, I need this, I need this. If I don't get, if I don't get a referral, if you can be chill and relaxed, then it's okay. What doesn't happen today will happen tomorrow. And, and, and the most important thing about everything is just the relationship that you're building with somebody. That's, that's, that's golden. That, that will do more for you than you realize. It may be the beginning of many referrals or, or a wonderful a mentorship. Maybe you'll be mentored. Maybe you'll be the mentor. Either, either, either thing is a gift in your life. It adds value to your life. And your life is more important than the job, the career, or the business. But it'll help it all. So I, I'm sorry if I sound corny, but I feel very strongly about this. I, I feel that this is a, a really important thing. It's a, an important value to have. So... Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. <laughs> Let me know if you have thoughts about it. In any case, I will um, I'll be back next Thursday. Thank you for listening to Merle's Pearls of Business Wisdom with me, your host, Merle M. Singer, the Relationship Miracle Worker. You can find this episode and all past episodes on relationshipmiracleworker.com slash podcasts, as well as on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and all your other favorite podcast platforms. Nice talking with you today. Hope to see you again. Hope to hear you again, <laughs> have to listen to you again, whatever. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.